Welcome to the channel. Uh, today, I am rolling out my new overlays, my new splashes, my new logos. And uh, we don't have new channel point things yet. Those are coming. It's the last ones left. I got bit images up. I got some emojis up. So hopefully uh, we can make stuff more interactive. And I'll start working on some other fun stuff for the stream. Uh, today, starting new solo battles. We ended up top 25 last week. Actually, don't know exactly where we ranked. So, before we get there, let's quick roll the intro. Damn it. Oh. All right, guys. Let's see where we shake shook out. I was 10 for a little bit, right at 10, but I know I wasn't going to finish there at 10. Let's take a look. Well, it's 25 to 11. Will it show me what my ranking was? Look at all that. Look at all that that we're sitting on. That's a good haul. I'm going to hold it for right now. Madden dude, what do you think of the new overlay? Hey. Current week. Oh, it's twelve hundred. Previous week. Where did I end up? Where did I? End? There we go. We ended up at twenty-one. Uh, I think one or two and three. These are real hard. You like the new overlay? Can you see it? Or are you only on chat? That is awesome. It's better than not pulling one. All right. So, guys, we're going to go over, since we have a new team, how to set up for your... Um, Solo battles team, what abilities to pick. Oh, are you on your phone? Oh, nice. Nice. All right. Let's talk about setting up the team. So the hard part about having a solos team, the hardest part about having a solos team is the fact that you have to create a new lineup. And no matter what you do, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to rename this. Oh, 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 right. Name this one the Hydra, because that's where I like it. That's my current team. Now, this never works, but we're going to try. Man. Such a pain in the ass. So let's go create the team real quick. If I didn't have to do this, it would be faster. Okay. 
switch to a new team we'll make it blank new great empty we'll call this one solos mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you, I'm going to precede this with, with best team overall, just so I get some people set. I know most of these are correct. But I didn't even know I had that Ryan Kelly sitting out there. What team is he? Colts? It'll be a to dance. This is Browns, Cowboys, um, Raiders. Twenty five of each. Who's our backup right guard? It's going to be Saffold. Substitute for this position only. Oh, nice. Did they come out today? Or just theme team, you mean? Fan appreciation, I think, comes out tomorrow, right? Or Wednesday. Uh, who do I have as my backup card? I don't know. Slide this over here. Take a quick look. What? Not the GG. Just faster. Switching over. Oh, that's right. Parker's over here. Okay. All right. This position only. So really, we're just trying to get our theme team set again. This is actually going to be fire move. Uh, no, it's actually not going to be fire move. I actually want to run fire move down here. So we're going to sacrifice some chems. Hey, babe, I'm streaming. What? That fucker brought me his first kill of the season. That's gross. What's up, Jesse James? We are going over the solo battle setup. You're trying mixing, you're saying? He's awesome. He is by far the best quarterback I've played with. He has everything I want. I don't even think I'll be switching over to Henry when he comes out. So he's always going to be in blocking there. Which one of them as above next most? This is going to be Kelsey. We're actually going to leave our line. Only Kelsey's going to come here. Because he's so good at run blocking. And he's decent at pass blocking. Where's his pass block? Run block is 94. Where is tight end, Kelsey? Do you not run a tight end at line? Okay. 
click not. And you can't run a lineman here. Oh my god, I can just inspect them. I don't know what's going wrong with me here, guys. Attributes. So his pass block is 90. That's a little suspect, but that definitely gets covered up with the post up. So he's really the only person that I run on offense that is um, outside of what I would normally do in my team team. And then Colin Johnson runs wide receiver one. And then you can't put Ed too tall at wide receiver two because his run block is horrible. So this should generally be um, Vernon Davis. For me, that way he gets better blocking because the only person catching is the wide receiver. The halfback is the only one running. Then let's turn off two tall Jones. Let's turn on Joe Mixon. That leaves us with four. Turn on Joel. Kelsey. That lead and Hunt. And everybody, what's up, Tech Kid? All right, so that gives us two, three post ups. We get to run Joe Mixon. I, I could get an extra AP out which we probably should for identifier, but there's not really a 1 AP ability I want to run on Bo Jackson. I don't think he can get balance beam for 1. Sleep Frog is 2. Balance beam is 2, no matter where he gets them. But there's not a... I know the truck animations are 1, I think. Bulldozers one. That's okay. We don't have to go that deep. Uh, I'm testing it again. It's, it's probably not worth four AP, but it definitely is in solo battles. Um, solo battles, even one break tackle can make like 20 seconds of a difference. So in solo battles, this is the offense we'll run with. Um... We are way off on points, though. It's got to be substitute for this position only. No, it was the best ability in the game when it didn't cost four. It's only when they made it cost four that it became useless. Okay. So that should at least give me most of my shit. But again, we're going to be down one at least. All right, Jesse, real quick. I'll show you the point of solo battles. All right. Are you ready? It's not just coins and packs. Don't look at these first two because these were exchanges. Two Hail Mary, two midfield, two red zone, four touchdowns, and a 93-plus elite player. I got all of that and that 190,000 quick sell. That's my rewards this week for being number 23 in the world. On PlayStation Next Gen. And it's really not difficult to end up near the top 100. But I redid my whole team. Normally I have a team for solo battles built. But I redid the whole team. So again... On offense, we're going to be running, let's set it now, so we don't forget, we're going to be running the playbook heavy run. 
run heavy. Hey, welcome, Nika Poop. You're just in time. I'm not going to open the 93 Plus until Thursday or Saturday. Depends on which legends come out on Friday, I mean. Because that's the one of the high chances to get a legend. Um, so I'm saving all of those packs to Friday or Saturday. If I like the golden tickets, I'll open them all on Saturday. I mean on Friday. If I want to wait, if I don't really like the golden tickets, then I will wait one more day and open them for the legend, uh, the LTD on Saturday. All right, so defense you can run almost any defense you want you just need to have the nickel double a gap to run i mean you can play defense any way you want i actually don't most people run the nickel a gap i run um i generally run three three five odd but i'm going to be running the double a, a gap again and testing again and i'm hoping it doesn't break up my score so Dolphins is a really good one. Dolphins and Giants are exactly the same. If you have a preference or a theme team, you can pick either one of them. Or, yep, sure is. I can't wait. Um, and then for offense, you really need the run-heavy alternate offense playbook. On offense, we care about getting as many line abilities as we can just so that we don't get sacks. And then... You want a good running back because you're trying to break away 100-yard runs. Your quarterback doesn't really matter. You just need a pass ability on him. I run Gunslinger and Fearless. I have Identify, but I just don't want to take it off. And then on your receiver, you want one receiver with at least Route Tech to make them go faster. And then I also like to put a deep out of lead on him. No, I don't think. I mean, you got it. Maybe. It just depends. He wasn't that brittle, so... But at that size, you know, getting hit makes you have a really short career if you're that tall. So the things we really care about, again, running back. Normally I want more abilities on the running back. Normally I run a, a receiving back so that I can have balance beam and leapfrog. But we're going to instead try with Bo Jackson, who is awesome, with Bo Nose on him. We're going to run mix in with Gunslinger. And then we're going to run Deep Out Elite. You can put every other point on your line. Travis, Travis Kelsey is a cheat card. His tight end out of position card, while well, he doesn't give me a chem in position, he gets one AP post up and that edge ability, which kind of smashes people off of the edge. Um, he's been a really good cheat. For your number two receiver, you generally want whoever you have that has the highest run block. So for me, that is uh, the tight end. They don't even show me how these other guys run block, but. So that's offense. Defense, I'm going to swap it up real quick. Put Cam Chancellor sub for this position. All right. I like running Cam and Free because he's taller. And then we're going to run Ed Reed here. That's been going on all season. That's the ultimate one. So there's a but. Um, there are other videos out there. Dad Brow has one on it. Um, that are real good videos to tell you everything you have to do to keep getting the points to boost Chancellor up to ninety nine. That's definitely outside the purview of what we can do in this video today. Okay, so first I'm just gonna get the team set up. And then we'll start talking about who goes where. Not DeMarcus Ware. Get it? Dum dum dum. Shh. Dad joke. And every day I'm going to check to see if they fix Joe Thomas. He's supposed to get 3x chems here.
Yeah, there's a whole set of challenges that sit in the ultimate challenge for uh, Chancellor since the beginning. And basically, as each season went, he got more and more new abilities. And you had to do all your dailies for 25 days in a row and a bunch of other things to get them. He's time locked a little bit. All right, sorry about the delay here. Let's just get the team set up. Who am I looking for? Christian Kirksey. I run my MST. That gives me nickel double. It gives me nickel double A gap. It used to give me the pump formation that you need, and it gives me three three five odd, which is a really good. Uh, the pinch zero out of three three five odd is really good. Mixon. It's not even a question. It's not even close. Mixon has ability buckets from every type. I would. So it's important for me that I put Ed Two Tall Jones in this spot, and I'll show you guys why. And have my number four is my Canes. My number five is Philip Buchanan. For the Chems. This is Randy Gregory. That's Garrett. And we'll go over what all the defensive positions are here in a second and why we pick them. Still here. We run Malik McDowell there, and then here we run Butler Jr. Just for the chems. Jadavian Clowney, Max Crosby, Chris Rastry, Philip Cannon, Hecker, Nick Folk, Long Snapper becomes Joe Thomas. I'm actually okay with CD Lamb returning him with his speed. 98. Uh, okay, that's fine. That way that Colin Johnson doesn't get slow. And last but not least, specialists. Specialists. I am running... Divine Diablo and Jimmy Grant. What's up, Vikings? We are just getting into solo battles. I ended up 23rd in the world last week, so we're going to go over how I did it. 
why I made the choices I did. Not existential ones, though. We're going to leave existential ones behind. All right. Got to get the perfect D. That's right. That's what she said. Don't dum dum -tch. All right. Ah, too many fastings. I went too many fasting. Okay. This is the way I run my team right now. What? Who? Why do I have double? Why do I have extra players? Are those, is that CV Lamb not in my lineup? You son of a bitch. That's CV Lamb not in my lineup? No, he's in my lineup. Running backs. Bo Jackson, Bo, yeah, get out of here, Debo. Debo. Debo D's nuts. Oh, dude, awesome, man. I really appreciate that. Hopefully a couple people join in that want to learn how to do solo battles. All right, this is the way we're going to roll our shit. We don't really care about slot receiver for this offense. Okay, so Vikings, I'll cover the offense again. There's only a couple of things that are important. One, that you have, I like a route tech ability on a receiver. I also run deep out elite. We're only running one passing play and one running play, so we know what they are every time. We generally know what the defense is. So having route technique to get away sooner. What's up, Reaper? Welcome. Bo Jackson. Normally I run a running back with three AP. One for uh, backfield master, one for balance beam, one for leapfrog. We're not doing that today. We're going to try Bo Jackson with his bow ability on. He's awesome. And then for quarterback. Hell yeah, man. Thanks. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you'll uh, learn something with solo battles. And I mean, my rewards this week with, at 23 were 190,000 coins. And then about 10 packs and a 93 plus overall pack. So I'm going to wait to open all of that till Friday. Uh, when new GTs are in, but it's a really good way to make coins. It's a really good way to prep for training variety at the end of the week. Uh, it's not hard to do. It's a little sweaty, but it's not hard. Um, and then finally, guys, after you pick, so I'm running Gunslinger. You pick whatever you want on your quarterback. You got to have, in my opinion, Gunslinger or Pass Lead Elite. You can take all the rest, put them into your line wherever you can get it. I personally like a post up on each guard. That's why. Robert Hunt is the best uh, right guard in the game. No matter what theme team you're on, throw away your right guard. Put Robert Hunt in with his zero uh, post up. It makes him by far and away the best guard in the game. Hey, hey what's up, B-Boy? Welcome to the party, man. And then Kelsey is a cheat here, guys. Kelsey's backyard baller. He gets post up for one. And he gets that end pancaking ability. Let's upgrade them real quick so you can see it. This nasty streak. Um, and since he's on the end and he's always getting DBs or linebackers, he basically pancakes them. And he gets each of those for one AP. So that makes this uh, cheat card. Um, even if he's not meeting your theme team, he actually fucks up my theme team here. So I will lose speed on the theme team overall because of him. In fact, I haven't even checked to see how if I lost two teams or one. So Browns are at 27, Dallas at 21. That's okay, though. We can still keep it. We'll figure the rest of that part out later. Um, man, that really feels like they put a Brown. Like, they gave Joe Thomas these points. But not, okay, anyways, let's go to defense. We'll figure out theme team later. I don't really need that right now. 
still not exactly sure how the Browns jumped up two points. So clearly, there's something different from my main team. Aha, here's one. He's not set to a Brown anyways. So I'm not really sure where the extra Brown chems are coming from right now. Ah, David Njoku. That's why. That's why. Oh, dude, nice Vikings. It's fucking money. Joe Dupree, there we go. Bud Dupree, Billy Joe Dupree, not Bud Dupree. Should push me back up. Now Browns are at 25. Dallas is at 24. Vegas is at 23. And then we're going to... I'd like to take Dallas Cowboy and switch him over to Vegas. So maybe... Who do we have that we can switch over to Raiders? Not running Jacob Johnson anymore. We want to move a Raider to a Cowboy, right? Yep. Okay. We will take Tom Brady. In fact, so because Tom Brady's in our main team, we'll take Randall Cunningham here and we'll switch him so that way he's only on this team. There we go. Now he'll be our backup. All right, let's go over defense. This is really tricky about defense. So offense, again, we're running two plays. We run it out of the run heavy playbook, the alternate playbook. They're both out of twins, in strong, twins over. We run two plays. We need one receiver that's good, one running back that's good. Everybody else is about blocking. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know how to say your name, Mahalakadja. Welcome to the party. Yeah, but I, I use I use Randall to float around for theme teams, where Russell I couldn't do that for. So defense, defense is all nickel double A gap, or if you're gonna play the way I play, I play three three five odd pinch zero. Um, You'll see the tricks. You don't play defense the whole game. You only play for two quarters, which I'll explain. We don't use punt returns, but we do use some other tricks. Um, so what's really important is that you get as your five coverage guys to have short route KO. Okay, so we know Westry is going to get it. And then we'll see if we can make it work with Randy Moss. So Randy Moss is going to get it. What, Westry? All right, those are my two corners on the outside that are covering. Then you're going to have your two safeties, right? So this is why powering up Ed Reed was important for me. What, Westry? Uh, is there a different way to say it? Westry? Westry? Whatever, fuckers. All right, we're going to take film study off. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was, yeah, I look at you. It's more like I looked at you. What's up, yo? I look at you. So we're going to switch. We're just going to turn film study off here. We're going to turn this shit off. Then we're going to come down. Just get this. This is all he needs. Okay, so that's two, three, same for Cam. Cam, we're actually paying the 1 AP to run Reinforcement Elite. When it's lit up, it's like extra short route KOs. Now, 
the thing is, that's only when it's lit up. So I still put short route KO. And... Dude, I really appreciate it, man. That's awesome. Um, if you guys didn't know this... Cam has hybrid bucket for his sixth bucket. So short route KO, if you get it, you can get it in any of these early buckets. But it's 2 AP. In his last bucket, it's only 1 AP. So just make sure if you're running short route KO, literally experts. I've been doing this for weeks. I've been doing this for a long time. And Dad Brow Gaming has been doing it for a long time. And while I was going through my team last week, Dad Brow's like, well, it costs two, so it doesn't matter. I'm like, no, 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 put it. What? And we're all discovering that on my chat together. So what buckets mean? Every person has a type, right? So if you look at, at uh, Cam Chancellor, Cam Chancellor is a run support. So every one of these buckets are a run support bucket that gets stronger and stronger. There's a tier one run support, tier two, tier three, right? So in tier one, you got these two things locked. He might have had them all tier three, but these are all run support. They all cost the same abilities. They come with the same stuff. They cost, you know, medium route KO is three, short route KO is two, wherever it is, right? Deep route KO is four because he's a run support archetype. The GTs, Cam Chancellor, and the Fan Appreciation GTs, and Cooper Cup, and the original Colin Johnson, all have a bonus where they've put other buckets from other archetypes on. So in this case, because this is a hybrid archetype, it has all the abilities at the points that a hybrid strong safety would have. So that way, when you come in here, now you're able to get short route KO for one AP. Which is why if you go look at Mixon, Mixon doesn't have scrambler buckets for all four. He has scrambler buckets, I think, for two. One field general, one strong arm. So that's why you can go in on Mixon and get four AP gunslinger because he has a strong arm bucket, even though he's a... He's a scrambler archetype. On the GTs, the archetype doesn't really matter at all. Okay, let's go turn on the people we have on. We have four set. And then... Here... I'm trying to think of which one goes in coverage more. I don't remember. First position or second. So I'm going to switch him for Jimmy Graham. I think one of these guys also goes in coverage. Um, so I want it to be Divine Diablo. He's got better man coverage. All right, let's turn him on. Let's see where we're at. This is the most important part. Five coverage people, five short route knockouts. One... We got two, your safeties, we got your outside corners. We don't need DeMarcus Meyer on. Your outside corners. The third corner, I'm not really uh, coming over. <laughs> nice. Uh, but we'll turn them on anyways. I'll explain what I'm doing there. Then we're going to turn on Diablo. So this is my coverage bucket for the most part. The only difference here is I've got under pressure on Ed Too Tall Jones, and I run him on blitzes out of pinch zero, and he gets in so fast, and uh, yeah, under pressure, because he has a linebacker bucket, he can get under pressure, and it's a bit of a glitch. And then let's turn on Randy Gregory. For one AP high. Oh, we don't need Luke Keekley on. There we go. So let's do it on Luke Keekley. So the last turn off Luke Keekley. So the last two things we're going to do is we're going to put under pressure on our right end and left end, which is already there. So we'll turn them on. I did like Daniil Hunter for a long time. He's fast, especially if you're getting him on a theme team. I prefer Randy Gregory, plus Randy Gregory got another update after team of the year. 
Um, have one point higher than the team of the year, I mean. So I prefer Randy Gregory. I also like Randy Gregory's change of direction a little better, if I remember right. All right. Uh, are we missing somebody? Two, 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 two. Everybody's on. We got two extra. All right, I'll tell you what I want to do. Just in case we swap to mid blitz because it's not working. Oh, I can't put it on him yet. I think it costs three. Short. So next update, he gets a man bucket. So he'll get this for one. But we'll put it on him for two for right now. Okay. So this is our defense, guys. So again, the premise. Your five coverage guys out of a cover zero blitz. Nickel double A gap mid blitz or pinch zero out of three three five odd. And what you want to make sure that you have going on is your five coverage guys all have short route KO. That's the most important thing. Then we want, in my case, Ed Tutal Jones is coming in. So we want him to have under pressure. Um if I didn't have to worry about going to mid blitz to show you mid blitz, I wouldn't actually put uh, short route KO on him, and I would put another under pressure on Max Crosby because three three five odd gives you four up front linemen, but you get the three up front from three three five, and then they put in your second left end. That's why it's and your second they put your second left end at the end, and they move your first left end out, and he stands in a two point. That's why it's one of the best uh, three-man fronts to get rush pressure out of. So, that's our lineup. Let's turn on our Nick Folks turned on. Let's go play a little. I think everything is set here. Okay, so let's come in. Solo battles. Uh, first trick, guys, there's a bug with solo battles where sometimes they don't let you play the 13th game, it airs out, and then you don't end up ranking top 100. What we all do, all the people that I talk to to play, is we leave this featured opponent all the way to the end. I know it's hard because you want to know where you rank at the end of day one and, and then at the end of Wednesday, but leave this opponent all the way till when you play your last games on Friday. We're going to start hard, and we're going to play against the, the Browns, the good old Brownies. See what happens here. I'm set to always defer, so they will always get the ball first. Yardage matters. So in solo battles, guys, you're not playing for your score. You need to win. Your score isn't what's important. There's a minimum score. And think, if you're trying to get 26,000 points, that's what you want to get on PlayStation um, or Xbox. If you're playing current gen on any of those or PC, then you're actually aiming for like 27,000. Only 50 of those points are your first 50 points you score, then they don't matter. So that's not the way you're trying to play this. There are thresholds. On offense, you want 300 yards rushing and three rushing touchdowns. On defense, you want uh, 500, I mean, on passing, you want 500 yard passing and about five passing touchdowns. You want 30 first downs. You want no turnovers. You want no sacks. Those are your thresholds that you try to hit on offense. Sounds like a lot, but we figured out our plan to make that happen and not play 90 minute games. On defense, you want as close to zero yards and as close to zero first downs as possible. As many sacks as you can get up to 10. You don't have to really, you don't get any bonus after 10. And then, at least that's what we assume. And then, you know, three or four turnovers if you can get them. Uh, not special teams turnovers. So because that's important, you don't ever want to kick the ball the full distance to them if you're planning to tackle them. Because if they happen to get a play and score on you, then instead of it being 40 yards, it's going to be 90 yards. So we always onside kick. 
Oh, I want to switch. Why is Fox my kicker? That is annoying as shit. It's not Fox, it's Folk. Ah. Jack Fox was my punter. I was like, what are we doing? I'll get some channel point things tonight when we're done with all of this. Right now you can think you have the default ones. You can highlight your message. All right, before we run out of time. I come in, I flip my, uh, I turn off auto flip. I put auto alignment on base. So the reason I don't want flip is I always want to know where my man corner is versus my blitzing corner. I always want to know that. And I always want the same personnel in the same spot. I'll do what I have to do after. Base, I don't want them man aligned. It would seem like man aligning them is better, but it affects the pressure. In ball and air defense, if you're playing zones, everybody plays ball. If you're playing man, most people say play receiver. Most people I play the, that we grew up with doing this say go play receiver. I say go swap ball. It's the way I like it. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything else down here whatsoever. You can on option to defense is um, go on conservative. So that you'll always get the quarterback. I generally prefer that. Uh, now all my guys are six foot plus. I don't mess with cornerback matchups. Again, we're going to go to nickel. Come to three three five odd. When I actually try to get my play. I'm going to call a timeout. Be sparing with your timeouts. But I was talking too much to get my play. So again, we're going to go to three three five odd. I'm going to run pinch zero. What I do is you go find the safety that's covering the running back. You bring them down. And you want to get them down as fast as possible to try and get them to uh, change their protection and bring the running back in. I prefer them throwing passes right now. So they stop the clock. I'll go over my adjustments here. First off, Browns versus Browns is confusing. I did not click on that guy because I thought I had good position. So my adjustments are pretty simple. That, that catch annoys the shit out of me. My uh, adjustments are press, commit to pass, and then blitz my user. After... I find out if they're going to change the player now. All right, so I'll bring them in. They're not, so I'll blitz my user and get over on the running back because they do shit like that to you sometimes. Need somebody faster than Jimmy Graham. All right. So because they're going to be fun and run a lot, let's go try double A gap mid blitz and see if we can shut them up a little bit. So it's about the same shit. Go find out who's on them. Try and bring them right here to here and blitz them. There we go. And that's the short zone knockout. You can see him lighting up and flying for the balls. So again, let's see who's on it. We're going to press. That is odd. Good, they stopped the clock. <coughs> right. He's on the running backs, Chancellor. Gonna bring him all the way in. And those are the under pressures right there that are making him throw it that bad. And we hold them to a field goal, which is plenty fine. Points don't count. The yardage in the first down suck. Well, what are we going to do? All right. Every time you field a kick on special teams, take it back or out of the end zone to the five, and then sit your ass down. You want as many yards as you can get. Your yards are what matter. So for offense, we're going to go strong eye, 
we want to get our 300 yards rushing first. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to Twins over. We're going to come out every single play and power O with PA power O with the play art to the short side. Right? Then we're going to audible into power O. And then we're going to motion our fullback over and we're going to do that. And we're going to truck people here. If you want to get out of bounds, I wanted to try trucking because it's the first time I've done it with Bo Jackson. All right, so again, PA power O. Defenses will go over. This defense is good to run about. We'll tell you what one's not to. Okay, now we switch. Just square, then triangle. Then we change the direction of the play. Just wasting my time here, guys. No touchdowns in the first quarter. Teaching is going to make this not a great score game, but that's okay. So this defense, you see how they rotated? And they're in a triangle. They got a guy standing out on the left. I don't run against this defense. I take a penalty. I just call an audible three times in a row, sometimes fourth, it bugs, and then come back. Losing yardage in penalties doesn't count against you at all. So again, now I have two guys out left, which is most likely a cover six type formation. We're not going to run against that. Take another penalty. Here, I'll run against this. This is not the perfect one to run against. Sometimes we'll get outplayed on this if the fullback does not do a good block. He did. Here we go. So how we're running it. And just angle yourself out of bounds. It's okay to go out of bounds. You don't have to crack them all the way for touchdowns every time because you need first downs. So take it when they give it to you. And I'll explain to you why I waited there as well in a second. There's a lot to remember, but after you play a few, you'll get it all. This is a good defense to run against. Remember right there in this tr triangle? Yeah, eat that. Sorry, I have to hit Troy Palomalu when I see him. It's just a thing. So right now, the clock is still running because it runs if you're not within two minutes. If you wait to 20 seconds or less... Then when you call your play, the clock starts from right there. If you snap it immediately, we're going to penalize this because I don't want to run against cover six. If you snap it immediately, you get a runoff. So I know this sounds weird. It took me a while to figure this out. If you run, if you got, you run out of bounds and the clock's running and your play clock starts at 30 and you pick your play immediately with two seconds gone, then the difference between 28, which is 30 minus 2, right? So you have 28 seconds left on the play clock. And 20, which is where the clock starts rolling again, that difference gets eaten automatically when you pick your play. So if you had 2 minutes and 10 seconds left, when 2 seconds passed by, you picked your play, you'd come out with 2 minutes and 2 seconds, and then you're, you'd hit the 2-minute warning. If you let the play clock go all the way down to 20, and then pick your play, you'll come out with 2 minutes and 10 seconds to call your play with the clock running. I know it sounds odd, but I had to play it to figure it out like five times. We're not running against this. Again, I call this the sombrero formation. The guy who's hanging out in the left, uh, Troy Palomalu, will tackle your running back every time. Right, again, this is a harder one. This is most likely like an engage eight. It's hard to run against sometimes, but we're going to do it anyways. See if we get good blocking. Good blocking. And here we go. Always try and celebrate run into the end zone, but don't fumble it. You get extra points for style. What are you saying, Madden dude? Something broken? Okay. For two-point conversions, I always go for a two-point. I always take the very common play. I'll go over it on my next touchdown. 
but it's pretty simple. And this is 99% of the two-point conversions. And mind you, this is on all Madden mode, but that always works. 99% of the time. Sometimes I have to throw it, but that's okay. All right. Important change. We've hit the second quarter. I said we only play defense in the first quarter and in the third quarter. That's where we try to get our defensive points. Now we're going to come out in the second quarter, and we're going to do something that seems ridiculous. We're going to kick off right. We're going to aim the stick left. We're going to sky kick it. You're going to kick the ball to him. And the moment it leaves, you're going to pull the stick left and switch between circle and square, making your guys jump. Old school like you were playing a Nintendo game. Circle, square, circle, square. And let them run the touchdown. That's going to F up a whole bunch of times. There's going to be times where... Um, man, this team has Colin Johnson on it. Unless there's another 19 Johnson that's super tall. Isn't this supposed to be an 85 overall team? Let's go depth chart. Oh, Keyshawn Johnson is 19. Damn it. I think I did this last time. I forgot Keyshawn Johnson is tall as fuck, too. And honestly, guys, you guys have seen the whole plan now. It's exactly this. You'll see the offense, the, the passing after I get my two touchdowns. I got to have a really good uh, half here. I got to have a really good two minutes. Because I really want all my, my last two rushing touchdowns right now. So, let's go over here. Again, uh, Tech Kid, it really just, it depends. It depends whether you want Slinger 1 and you're going to stand in the pocket. Or if you want Gen 3 because you like rolling out of the pocket. That's the decision. Now, they did change Joe Mixon's release. But they haven't changed anybody else's release. Carr was the same. Matt Ryan's was the same. Tom Brady is the same. So, I don't know if they changed Joe Mixon's release. Because a player made it? Because I don't even think release was a question on the questionnaire. Oh. Now, under two minutes, you can just call the... Under two minutes in the second quarter and all fourth quarter, you can just call your plays at will. Because the clock actually stops. But you still don't want to run against the Sombrero defense. Fuck you, Sombrero defense. Ask me why I said effing earlier, but I'm allowed to say fuck you to the Sombrero defense. It's because fuck the Sombrero defense. Hey! Thanks, Trig! How you doing, Trig? How's your lab been going? Oof. <laughs> Once his shit lights up, you can literally do whatever you want with him. That's why it's so good. You can decide to jump. You can jerk. You, you don't want to own a jerkle. But you can decide to jump. You can juke. You can spin. All right, Trey. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Keep an eye on that guy. Uh, follow <laughs> the, the one that I explained twice, man. I'll explain it again. Hold on. Um, I'm going to show you guys another trick real quick. By the way, guys, Trig is legitimately going to be an MCS pro at some time. So if you want to watch, if you want to go follow somebody uh, who is young and growing their channel and growing as a player, 
you know, somebody who can easily put together 22, 23-week uh, weekend leagues, uh, follow Trig. His, uh, he's got a future bright of him. A bright future in front of him. All right, guys. I'm going to do something I don't need to do right now, but it's just to show you another trick. You notice I'm in punt formation. Special teams don't count. So when I get my last first down, if I do this, now I run 99 yards back. Now I can add 90 yards passing or rushing to this as long as I can score beforehand. So what I like to do is I come to base off trio. Take him out. We're gonna put Colin Johnson here. I missed where he was at. We'll let that time run out for the first one. It's okay. All right, second and 95. So now we're just going to pull the slot option out of gun Y off trio. If you have a better one play touchdown that you can find in this out of bunch tight end, go ahead. I can't seem to get those to work the way I want them to. So what I do is this. I streak. I bring him in. Pull my line over. And I hope to come over here. He's doubled, but he's should be able to beat them all every time. And then what I do is I go out at the one. Now I just got 90 more yards passing, and it's third and goal. And then I come out and I run my same run and try and get in the touch in the end zone in two plays. It's a way to get 90 extra passing yards. You really only generally need to do it if ever one time for uh Per game, just because it gets a little close on passing yards the way I do it right now. But there's the trick. Now we've got two hundred and sixteen rushing yards on two drives because of the penalties and ninety five yard passing, but we only ran two drives. It's an awesome trick. You'll won't find that on any other streamers, uh bag of tricks for it does I try and celebrate when I catch um, passes going out of bounds which will go over the passing play soon and I try and celebrate on the touchdowns there's also some rumors like kicking a field 50 yard field goals points uh, it's hard to get to that I don't think I've ever done it and then uh, that secure catching balls for touchdowns has extra points. I don't know if that's just people guessing or not. Again, stick to the left. Old school Nintendo. Make them all jump. Don't worry about Owusukura Mo over there. When you do this, every once in a while somebody gets bugged. They run off to the right. But now their whole turn is done. And we get the ball back. And we get to run another run. To minute seven left to try and score in a minute seven. It will, it's actually being streamed on YouTube, so it's on YouTube as soon as we get off. It maybe takes 15 or 20 minutes. It'll have the same title. Same My YouTube name is the same as it is here. Ooh, I fumbled, but it was out of bounds. It's not a turnover. <laughs> <laughs> you like my new emotes? I'm the angry gamer. What are you going to do? My angry emote. I added emotes today. I added bit badges. I added sub badges.
Oh, I don't know if I got out of bounds. Didn't look like it. Come on, go. Nope. There are some pending ones, too. So hopefully the pending ones get approved. They're not bad. They're just pending because they're pending. Oh. Uh. Well, you guys just got an example. Let's show you of one of the times where the logic in the game fucks you up on the run play, right? So if you watch, watch uh, Friedmuth get confused. See him? So he's coming out. The pulling guard's pulling slow already, right? And he initially looks inside where... Patty had looked outside, and then both of them kind of get stuck in no man's land, and I pay the fucking price. That happens sometimes. This is Sombrero D. It's a different Sombrero D. It's more like Cowboy Hat D. But anytime there's somebody on the opposite side just standing out there by themselves, we don't run against it. This is Dumbass D. Over six. Don't run against that. We have no timeouts left, so getting stuck in bounds. This is a shitty D to run against, too. Getting stuck in bounds is going to suck here. So no playing it for pool points. Give up! Oh, and it switches sides, you piece of shit! Come on, get it, 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 get it. Asshole. Slow ass Deion Sanders catching me. Always remember to switch your playmaker, your play's direction before you start the motion, because once you motion it, you can't run the playmaker. All right, again, we run PA all cross for two pointers. Slide the line to the right. Block the tight end. Put the running back on and out to the direction you're running. Then immediately gas yourself. You can usually just walk right in. You like it? Do you, what do you think? Do you think they fit the theme, Madden Dude? Oh, I'm, I'm, I am. Hilarious might not be the right word for it, but I'm definitely something. Normally I would kick this and let him get a touchdown, but I like the chance at an interception. Um, if they just try and throw it up here. All right. Oh, they're actually playing normal. So we're going to play normal. Pinch. I mean, press. Commit. Bam! See you, suckers? All right. Let's hit a double A gap so we can do that one again. Again. Press. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it really depends. Depends. Ooh, look, we get a shot at a one play touchdown. We're at the 50. Everybody loves this all cross. I can never make it hit for a touchdown. We can try it since it's free. Okay, we take X and we streak them. We take R1 and we block them so we don't have to do it. And then we take our line and move it left in this case. And then we come here, we roll out. Oh, oh, and we throw it way over everybody. <laughs> Listen, it's not just diarrhea. Sometimes a motherfucker's got to get gonorrhea. Like, I don't want them to die. I'm not that toxic. I don't want their $500 PlayStation to break or anything. But you know what I do want? Maybe them to get diarrhea for two days where their ass hurts. Like, 
That's fully acceptable. If you're gonna do some toxic shit against me, maybe you deserve diarrhea. If you're gonna, if the AI intercepts me, and you run it back for a touchdown, but then you celebrate run into the end zone, get fucked diarrhea. That's it. All right. Now that they were done with that, which is gonna be in my how-to video, let's switch over. Right next to PA Power, not let's do it from here. From Strong Two, same formation, twins over in the very first play, right in the middle, in the very first slide, right in the middle, is the play we're going to run pretty much for the rest of the game. PA vertical shot. Only thing we're going to do here is bring your inside receiver on a slant. I like to move the line to the right and then block my running back so that I don't have to deal with this shit. And then I immediately run here, stop, jet, go out of bounds. That's it. This is first downs non-stop. All right, let's see. What do you mean to like, oh, random ass, I, you, you typoed. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? ads i don't i don't shit talk ads i don't know what you talking about madden dude oh i forgot what i was doing listen man dude i have to explain I needed something, Bones. Do you, Tech Kid, do you like them? Do you guys like those? Do you think those emotes are fitting? Again, this is Sombrero defense. I also don't pass against Sombrero defense. What do I have to? I'm asking if you like the emotes or not. Well, they are childish. Well, I threw them up there. We can find better ones. I'm still waiting on the good one. The good one hasn't been approved yet. God! Do you not know how to block there? I'm not paying attention. Okay. Come in every fucking time. Well, right now they're a base. Listen here, fucker. And do I'm gonna start wishing my mods diarrhea. Come on, man. These passes are not going great right now. What is up with the on the run inaccurates? Don't judge Joe Mixon by this. He's just being very extra today. Trying to not have that happen. Do not turn into a child. I turn into an angry adult who has childish patterns. Like, I beat the shit out of this desk. And I have not been paying attention to the time. <laughs> this whole third quarter, I was supposed to be waiting till there were 20 seconds left. 
Look, they're bringing the house. I should audible out of this, but I'm not going to. Ah. Shits. All right, third quarter. Let's get our PA all cross. La 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 la. Two point conversions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There are times I know when I need to say things that are not meant uh, for other people's ears, so I still got to get them out, so I'll just turn the fucking mic off and fuck the bitch. Should have counted as hit sticks. Hit sticks get you points too. All right, we're gonna run double leg gap this time. He's on the back, it's him. Man. Remember, if they change, you gotta still make sure you're on the back. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not opposed to giving you mod whatsoever, man. To be completely honest with you, you have been been badass. You've been participating. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Where I accidentally muted myself. I was so mad because I, like, hit the mic mute button. Still on the running back? Still on the running back? Yes. No, no, no. Thank God they got there. See, that's the only time this sucks. Is, and other people know how to do this better than me. I don't know how to play with mid blitz. When they're doing that and everybody's moving. Like, I lose who my guy is on. And then they show me the wrong lines. And then I'm fucked. I probably have blown up more, though, on solo battles than against people for a weekend league. Like, when the game fucks you on solo battles, it's so devastatingly annoying. Because they'll do some shit that is not within the logic of the game to do. Like, in that last game I was playing, I had great points. But I needed one more pass to uh, to hit the threshold. Both a first down and the 500 yards passing. And for some reason, no understanding why, down by 30 points on the last play of the game, they came out and prevent defense. It's like, what? You're literally just trying to take away my points. Buttholes? Let me show you what happens if you play against this defense and how to handle it. You'll see they spread, right? And you can wait right here and hit them right there every time. Now, you don't want to do that if you're within the 10 yards to the end zone because your receiver will stop in the back of the end zone and you'll throw a pick every, uh, every time. Again, I slide my line to the right. I slant the receiver. That's it. It's the only change. And I know this is boring, but this shit later on, on on other teams gets sweaty. And this is a lot of fucking points you make for the time you invest in these games. Yeah, that bounce, that bounce, that bounce, good. We get that first down. If you didn't know this, you do not get first downs on the touchdown, even if the touchdown would have been a first down. So, like, if it's like that play was where the first down marker was at the eight and I could have gotten a first down, getting the touchdown does not count. Now, you heard what I just said, right? Don't run this play 
if you're up against a defense. The easiest thing to do if you're up against a goal line is to just take a penalty, go back, get yourself more room. The change that you can make if you don't want to penalize yourself, well, I'm not going to play against Sombrero either way. So we'll go back again. We're outside of the 10 now, so this should be safe, but here's where it gets just a little tricky. Look, it looks like he'll get to the back. Slide to the right. We'll take our running back in this case and block him so that we don't do the play action to get away from here. And bam. So when they bring the house, the only difference is instead of letting the, the play action happen, you block the running back and then you immediately jettison out of the pocket. All skills that you most likely already have from playing the game CFM or franchise, normal, or head-to-head, -head, whichever way you play it. All right, we're in the fourth quarter. We don't play defense in the fourth quarter. So what do we do? Kick off right, aim left, sky kick, bada boom, bada boom. Now it's super important. We'll take a look after this to see where our stats are. One of the reasons why this method is important. Oh, no, no. See, he tried. He tried to get tackled. He tried. Look at him trying again. You actually have to, like, it's a game to sometimes not let them get tackled. Right? So if we look at our stats, we still need 200 more yards passing. Two more passing touchdowns. Three more Pat, what? I guess three more passing touchdowns. Yeah, that's right. Math isn't working in my head right now. Oh, yeah, five plus three is two. All right. Nope. Never going to get it. You have to watch for these onside kicks now in the fourth quarter. Don't be caught unaware. And the trick to do is to try to get it and run backwards. But if you guys are stupid and they run forward after the ball like that, there's nothing you can really do. There is no trick to get more first downs. So we need, how many did we need? I didn't even look. Probably we need 12 or 13 more. 11 more. Also keep in mind on this one, I'm on the wrong hash, so that means it's going to be a longer run for him to get there. So he's generally going to get tackled and bounce like that. Call this time out, and I'll save my last time out for an oh shit situation. So again, you see how they spread out here? The other option is just run it. Not a lot, not far. With a fast enough running back, you can get a first down. That was a half one, so it didn't really matter. You can also see that I run Omaha. I haven't been able to get it to activate all game, which is odd. Mainly probably because I'm talking, but we'll get it here in a second. We have Omaha lit now, so you can see what they're doing every play. So we know the guy on the outside is covering now, which is awesome. We don't have to worry about that. Now we just wait here, catch him. No! See? He did it! That's it, guys. That's the shit. Oh, my God. After I tell you guys I'm so busy talking that I get rid of my almost perfect game by that. So look, I said you got to be behind the 10-yard line to run this play the way it is, right? Otherwise, your receiver does this. I have no clue. Instead of just continuing his route, so right now, I'm pass leading him. This is not a bad pass. This is not, oh, you didn't see that guy. Sorry about that. I can't do apparently is work this camera. All right, let's get it here, right? So right here's what I'm seeing. Look right now, I'm starting to throw. 
So I'm seeing him there, right? You can see that pass lead is a touchdown every single time, except for the computer knows he's going to stop, so he doesn't pass lead. He throws it right at him because there's nowhere to pass lead it to, and that's an interception. So it's definitely going to fuck up the points in this game significantly. I'll lose 500 points in total in this game now because I'm not going to hit my thresholds now because of that. Hate that my offense is get that. Get it. No! This fucking game, man. Look, this is the shit that happens. I'm telling you. Look at this. We're missing interceptions left and right. Are right, my coverage guys? It's the whole game, man. I wasted this whole game doing the right shit. Joe didn't underthrow it. No, no, no. That it's happened to me on every quarterback. If you run that play from the ten yard line or, or in. The receiver stops and turns around when he hits the back threshold of the end zone instead of running to the corner of the end zone. And when you throw the ball, you can't pass lead a receiver who has hit the end of his route any further than his route. So, like, if somebody stops, you can't pass lead them from a stopped position. It's one of the most annoying parts of this game. So if you run a, a hitch and the guy turns around, you can't pass lead him and have him go four or five yards. So because that receiver comes to what he's decided is a stop, there's no pass lead, and it gets intercepted. It happens all the fucking time. By the way, guys, you see what's happening right now? This is the reason we don't play defense in the fourth quarter, because they do this. There's a different thing that the game turns on in the fourth quarter that is... Cheat mode. Like you notice, it didn't tell me who I was covering. It had me and somebody else both covering the running back on that last play. This game's. I'm gonna start this week with a. My guess is twenty four thousand game. Thank you for jumping over him instead of running backwards. Well, guys, this is why I run this channel this way. Hopefully you found instructions on how to do it. I think you said that before, Bones. I think you promised me... 10 autographed cool things. See the sombrero D? This is a sombrero D. Fuck your sombrero D. Sombrero D is a mid blitz. So you see that guy in the corner is coming, and so is the guy in the middle to engage eight, not a mid blitz. Like T. Higgins, are you just lying to us? Like T. Higgins from the Rams? Are you asking me if I know the starting tight end for the Super Bowl winning Rams? Are you saying that's your cousin? No, that's Higby. T. Higgins is on Cincinnati, right?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who he is. Can you, can we talk with him and maybe get him to drop a couple passes against the Browns this year, you know? All right, let's go see how bad that game was. Hit the wrong button. Twenty five thousand even. That's a thousand short of what I wanted, but we'll take it. Dude, that's awesome, man. Did you, you, uh, are you guys, were you guys in the same grade? All right, guys, let's try to go for a perfect game this time. I love these orange uniforms. Oh, we're going to play this game again. That's awesome. It's awesome that you're pretty cool about it, too. Doesn't seem like you're very... Uh, oh, my God. You owe me a bunch of shit. Don't you remember that one time where you could have gotten in trouble, but I didn't tell on you? Oh, it looks like playing without inside stuff is not a great idea. They are getting a little more yardage and time wasting on me than I like. Get out of here. What are you saying? Are you in six and what? Solo battles? Two whole minutes already gone from this quarter. But notice, even though I didn't hit my thresholds last game, I still plowed out 25,000 points. And 
25,000 points puts you at... 325,000, which is definitely in the top, which is where I ended up, which is 22nd overall. God, I love the little trucking animations, even when they're just dipping somebody on the shoulder. I don't remember if you told me that or not, Madden dude. He was trying to catch me from behind. Long was trying. One of the problems is... Oh, shit! What is up, everyone? That's a big old stream from Dad, bro. How's everyone doing? Wow, thanks for the follows, guys. How was the stream, Dad, bro? We are just doing solo battles here, guys. After we got 23 last week, we're trying to uh, get higher. Shit. Thanks for all the follows. Oh, look at that. Letting him run now. Thanks, Hawaii. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, see that? Ed Too Tall Jones. I'm telling you, the way I'm playing him is a glitch, guys. All right, let's see. We're going to bring Reed in here real close. Mine. Goodbye. Extra bonus points. Yeah, and I actually had two or three bad games there where I had a 23 and two 24s. I am. Why? I am. I live in Cleveland. I'm a huge Browns fan, season ticket holder, die hard, team dyer. Even when we were 0 and 16 and 1 and 31, I still was a Browns fan. Guys, this is going to be some weird gaming. If you've never seen how to score high in solo battles with Dad Brow and I's secret trick method that's what you're watching today you can find this video on youtube after uh the first half of this video the first hour uh was pretty much just talking about uh ah, wait wait i'm gonna get no 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 don't tackle oh was just talking about how to do this method well we're gonna have to play defense again that's one of the tricks right there guys in the second and fourth quarter is Let them have touchdowns.
Who's covering who? Who's covering who? Come on, no first down. No first down. Third and one. No, no. Oh, man. Oh, this play art changing, Dad, bro. I don't know what your secret is. Uh, I don't know why Randy Moss didn't want to jump there. All right, let's go back to double A gap. Let's see if we can get some different pressures. What is going on? Oh, overplaying the. All right, guys. Well, this is how point. This is how shit goes bad. Quick, like. When you get into the second quarter and the fourth quarter, the computer puts on a mode that is just nearly invincible. Like that. Doesn't matter what defense you're playing, who's playing it. We're getting no knockouts. At least they're calling timeouts, though. I mean, with him being your cousin at all, I assume you have to play his card. It's not really a choice. Call my own timeout now. Kidding me, man. Oh, Lord. This game is so insanely aggravating, guys, when you're with solo battles. So this solo battles, guys, are a good way to get uh to get coins, but boy are they annoyingly sweaty. Why am I returning that ball? Because I'm angry. What was that? Yeah, that was right. Bill Jackson has one touchdown. We're not going to play against Sombrero defense. We don't like Sombreros. You'll like my other one if it gets approved. Yeah, we can definitely do some marble races if if uh, when we get to the end for sure. So, guys, what marble races are? If you're PS five or PS four, then at the end, sombrero defense. Then at the end of this game, what I'm gonna do? 
is we'll run a marble race. I will pull 10 training variety packs. And the best card I get out of all of them will give away for free to the winner of the marble race. So if you're PlayStation, hang around. If you have some friends that want to come on, uh, we're at 15. I'll actually do the top two cards that I get out of 10 training variety packs. We'll give away for free. If anybody is in the Discord and wants to let the Discord know, that's cool too. I know, I'm sorry, Madden, dude. I don't have any way to give shit on Xbox accounts. I could eventually get the PC, the Xbox Game Pass, and then play the PC version remotely, the Xbox version on PC. Look at that shit! Come on. Pick the play! I wasn't able to pick my play there. It would not let me hit X. It had the bug where you couldn't hit X. Oh, no playing against sombrero defense. Actually, I call that cowboy hat defense. It's different than sombrero defense. That's amazing. At least I'll take the play. It's not what I wanted, even in the least. Something's wrong with my plays. Oh, that's what's wrong. Damn it. Sorry, guys. We're going to take this, this penalty. We'll come back in. Sorry, just resorting my plays because they were... I fucked one of them up at some point. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so mad at the game that even in good defenses, I'm just fucking up. I'm not audibling. Well, if it's like the way they do it in uh, MLB The Show, you'll just be able to choose whether or not you want to play competitive against same... What the fuck was... So is anybody else on PlayStation? We're at least going to get our big threshold.
Yeah, there's three or four more on on uh, YouTube too. All right. See a bunch of Dad Brow fans bring coming over from Dad Brow. A whole bunch of Xbox people. Oh, baby. No. Damn. Right. I didn't sound super happy for my 11 followers, right? And my 11 watchers right now. Like, damn, your wife hates you. Wow. I can't believe how amazingly great at football you are. So yeah. Hat you're wearing. Thanks. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Beat that fucking team's ass. Yeah. The Saints. I love this Bo Jackson, I really do. He catches good. He does everything good. Come on, man. This whole game has been this way. I'm telling you, Madden has a thing. And I'm going to find out what the situation is with it and detail it for everybody, and then the world will understand. Like, Madden has a thing where just a specific game will just animate horribly. Everything will go wrong. Blocks will go wrong. Like, the only reason I'm the score is what it is is because we're playing a game that's designed to defeat AI. If this was any other type of game, we would be getting fucked right now. Hey, you're not going to get away with two of them. I'm actually running his bow nose ability too. At least in solo battles I am. I did start it. I did play with it a bit in weekend league. If I'm not running escape artist. What horrible blocking? I don't understand what is going on with this game today. Come on, man. I'm going to have to keep going and changing the defense every play because the line is just sucking butthole. No offense to you if you're a lineman who sucks buttholes. Are you talking to me, Ninkapoop, or the chat? Can't make stupid fucking people miss. If you're talking to me, uh, I generally average 10 to 12 wins. Weekend League is hard for me. It's hard for me to beat the sweaty people. I've also only been playing Madden since November, and only Mutt since the end of November. So yes, I played Madden when I was a kid, just franchise mode. But um, I haven't played Madden in six or seven years. So I'm fine with 10 wins, 12 wins, when I've only been playing the game really for six or seven months. And I'm 44. It's, it takes longer for me to figure this shit out right now.
Ah, nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I, hey, K's brother, I would enjoy Weekend League. I still play it. Fudge. I would enjoy Weekend League a whole lot better um, if Low Pass was taken out of the game and Crossers were covered better. That's the only two things they really have to do. Well, glad you made it over here now. I appreciate it. Yeah, anybody who's PS4 or PS5, stick around to after the game because I'm going to uh, do some giveaways. Yeah, Deadpool. These are solo battles right now. Uh, if you find this video with this name on YouTube after uh, the stream, uh, the first, probably from about 45 minutes in for the next hour, I go over the whole strategy. We played a whole, the whole first game. Uh, even on a bad game, it didn't go the way I wanted to. We still got 25,000 points. On uh, next gen, which is you know close to max, twenty six thousand is the most you can get. You're not a rookie. You're Kay's brother. Flex. Thanks, man, dude. Wait, they called the timeout. That's good for us, because we got tackled in bounds. Fuck you, bitches, for tackling me in bounds. I meet you in real life, I fucking punch your mouth. Oh, see, and I totally forgot. I'm supposed to be running that back. 
for a long touchdown. Whoopsies! Come again. That was my fault. I don't know why I juked there. I didn't have to juke. See, I don't want to sound like a butthole, but one of the reasons it's really hard for me to play against these kids in Weekend League is I hate playing the same play over and over again, even if it's winning. Like, I know Mesh concept wins, and like 90% of the time you can compete to, complete the passes and no chance really for interception. But like, I find myself being like, oh, okay, they're going to expect it, so I'm going to switch it. Just... Good job turning backwards there. Turn man here so we don't have to worry about that weird formation. Good. Out at the one. Look, I was already going to do the dumb thing. Run at it. So here's another trick. Saw it earlier. It's so cheesy. Special teams from the one. Fake punt sweep. What are you doing? Are you running it in? Fuck no. We're running all the way back. 40, 30, 20, 10. Colin Johnson should beat most of these people. And with the throw power of Mixon, you can usually get those. <laughs> oh, man, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, man. I just got a mental image. Yeah, but I think the idea is maybe you do need to fall in line. Like, when you play Apex or if you play Fortnite, you don't play anti the way it is because of some greater sense of good, you know what I mean? You go in and you do what you have to do with win. Sometimes that means sniping. Sometimes that means, you know, running to get the fucking gear. Sometimes it means being on fucking revive duty. But in Madden, we try and act a little holier than thou. So maybe we should just play it that way. Be a little toxic. Yeah, me too, Madden dude. Me too. Well, I still only run one or two formations. Because I only know one or two formations. I'm not going to play Coach's Suggestion. Come on, turn around, run back. There you go. Thank you. 30, 20, 10. Dude, he is so fast. I cannot wait for the fan appreciation updates. Yep, they're blitzing. So normally, you should just be able to catch the blitz that way.
Wait, they called my shit. Love when they call timeouts for me. Look at them, still trying to cling to hope. How cute and quaint. Dude, this Colin Johnson is so good. It is so unfair that so many people had him and not the rest of us. Maybe he's better now. But like, I didn't start playing Madden until after the Turkey Bowl one, so I didn't have a chance to get him. And I was playing PC at that time. All right, so we're at the five. This is a playable formation. The only difference is now... Put him on and in if you get a playable defense and you can then you can run this and not get intercepted right come over here back him up nope throw it away not that time i'm not going to give up an interception right now oh what am i doing i have a f just wasted a play i'm supposed to be running backwards for more yards See, this is the guys where old comes in. Getting the shit I'm doing here. Come on. So much for the fucking perfect game again, man. Wasn't a perfect game, but that fucking really hurts. Fucking shit, man. Give me a second. I'll get the Discord link. Give me a second, guys. Something's going on with the what here. For me, at least. Not for you guys. So I'll come in direct and give you guys a thing here. The Google authentication. Got an error reading post message. Don't know what that means. Okay, let's go to docs chat again there we go yep yep just give me a second to fix my chat for some reason i'm not able to chat from my client Mm -hmm. 
very odd. Okay, now what? All right, well, I can't chat there anymore. My bot chat, my restream bot is that. I could probably do it from restream direct. I can also chat through that. Where is chat? I used to be able to chat in the browser here. Event, stream, analytics, settings. All right, fine. Chat here when we need to. All right, guys, something's wrong there, so I'm using the dedicated client. Just wanted to make sure that that works. Let's open our strategy item. Yeah, green one. Let's go look at how that shitty game treated us. Probably 24-5. 24-8. So that's two shitty games to start, guys. At least they were on the hardest two teams. All right, here's what we're going to do. Anybody can participate in the marble races that wants to. Um, but cards are only going to go away to, are only going to go to PlayStation because that's all I have. Um, we are going to roll 15 packs. Um, we're going to roll 15 packs, training variety, maybe 20, and we'll take the two best cards and give them away. Come on, chat. 